Um, I don't. I don't. I think I forgot to talk about this on last stream. But Russell Greer is facing eviction and because of the litigation. I'm going to keep this nice and brief. Um, he actually. Let me pull up the filing. He's uh he's formally evicted. He's already moved apartments, and he left this fucking bizarre. Um, I'm gonna recap. I'm gonna recap this unless uh. Just in case I didn't recover or talk about it yesterday. Um, Russell Greer is suing me for contributory copyright infringement. And because of no fault of our own and because of his own filings and the way that he files and the way that he behaves in court, this has proceeded not at all in the last, like, three fucking years. Um, and he refuses to take any actual steps to continue the litigation and uh instead just files fucking nonsense okay this is actually it i don't know if i talked about i'm going to talk about it again in case i missed it where's the document at? give me a second i think it's in the other thread i don't know why he didn't screen cap the fucking pictures and post them in the thread cuz that would be easy let's see Sorry, this, I'm, I'm going off on a diversion because I forgot where I had last spoke about this. I'll just recap real quick as I try to find it. Um, Russell Greer is a guy, he's got like a face problem. Um, he blames absolutely everything when people like being discriminating against him because of his Mobius syndrome instead of like his behavior. Literally everything. And more recently, every single thing ever has been our fault, the Kiwi Farms directly. And he has tried desperately to make this a um, a a a copyright issue. He's tried to allege a bunch of stuff in civil court, but the only thing that survived because of an absolutely insane decision by the um, 11th appellate court uh, put one claim back into play, and that was the claim that um, there was contributory copyright infringement on the case. However, because he's representing himself now, because he can't afford representation, um, the case has proceeded at a grueling rate. And it's like, we just want to shit or get off the pot. We want it to be done with. And everything that he does, like, stymies the, uh, our ability to actually finish the case. Um, but he does manage to file shit like this, which I just pulled up. Okay. So this is Russell Greer versus Joshua Moon, United States District Court of District of Utah. Um, this was filed by Hardin in Utah because he filed this in Florida, which we aren't in anymore. And I'll just read the actual, uh, it's two pages. Um, oh, this is the wrong one. This is the one, this is uh, Hardin's motion. Sorry. Okay, this is what Greer filed. There is no name to this. This is just literally just him complaining to the courtroom that his life is unfair and he nebulously blames us. Uh, so there is no actual name for whatever the fuck this is. Plaintiff Russell Greer now comes and says he has not received any mail from the court or from opposing counsel. He has no access to the docket sheet and is essentially blind as to what is going on in the case. This is not true. Hardin files or sends every single thing to him possible by email which he chooses not to respond to. He chooses to make this as arduous as possible. Plaintiff has lost income and is being evicted from his apartment and cannot find new income, really due in part to Kiwi Farms and the trashing plaintiff's overall image and his copyrights. As plaintiff said in his complaint, the fiction has become fact. I have no idea what the fuck any of this means except for the fact that he's blaming us for him not having a job and not being able to pay his bills because he's lost income he has lost access to the mailing box and address on record so he has been filing this entire lawsuit from an a non-existent address he is he has a virtual office on something called twain street in las vegas there is a twain street that runs east and west Greer has filed every single motion, has emailed Hardin repeatedly, and asserted that his address is South Twain. There is no such thing as South Twain. This has been explained to him in language that a child can understand. 
the address does not fucking exist. If you put it into Google Maps, it will not go anywhere. So we, if we send you anything, you will not fucking get it because it's the wrong fucking address. And he never once corrected this, um, ever. Which is, in its face, that's one of those like small, stupid, petty things that can actually terminate a case because at some point it's just like professionally unacceptable. But he's lost his mailing box because guess what? He's not paying the bills for that either. He continues and says, Plaintiff is going to be homeless now to the delight of Joshua Moon and his users. Joshua at one point had a kill count where he would tally which Kiwi target commits suicide. This is not true. This is what's called a spurious allegation. It's not substantiated in reality. There has never been a kill count on the Kiwi farms. Um, whether or not I am delighted to hear that Russell Greer is continuing his litigation from the streets of Las Vegas is uh, purely speculative. I will not comment. Uh, as far as the users of the Kiwi farms, that is also purely speculative. Um, I'm assuming that many of them are sad and, and remiss and lost over this. Plaintiff does not think he will kill himself. Apropos of fucking nothing, I guess in relation to this, he's basically suicide baiting the court. Like, you got to give me my cop my contributory copyright infringement case because I'm going to kill myself if I don't. Just kidding, haha, please don't commit me. I really don't know. I've never seen suicide baiting in a court document before, uh, so this is the first. I guess we could call this motion uh, motion that I will not kill myself. Uh, but essentially, he's lost everything. A fact that Andrew Grimm and the Digital Justice Foundation, which was the extremely, extremely nice uh, media rights scalping group that files in defense of plaintiffs uh, pursuing copyright litigation across the country to try and score wins in the appellate courts, which is what they exactly fucking did. Um, a proper uh, nonprofit pro bono representation for Russell Greer, which got him his case. So it's trotted along for another fucking year. But despite the fact that they saved his, his ass and saved his case, um, he uh, slanders them and says, Andrew Grimm, the Digital Justice Foundation, impulsively didn't want to understand why, and so they stopped representing him. They missed, sorry, it's uh, if it's written, it is, um, it's, uh, what is it? Liable. Uh, they mistook plaintiff's hardship as plaintiff jipping his formal counsel when he wasn't. So they asked him to pay. They're like a serious law firm from California that that does dirty work for all the media rights groups. Um, so when he said, I want your big dick California law firm to re represent me in this stupid ass fucking case I filed. They said, OK, well, we already got what we wanted from you. So we don't want to represent you for free anymore. You have to pay us. And we're from California. So our rate is one thousand dollars an hour. And we're, we're estimating that this will cost half of a quarter of a million dollars. And he said, uh, okay, I will give you uh, 350 <laughs> You know, and they're like, no, we're not interested. So he's complaining that they didn't – he's complaining that a, a extravagantly wealthy law firm from California – did not enslave themselves to him and his every whim. That is literally what he's saying here. This is this paragraph and its complaint violates the Thirteenth Amendment. Um, unfortunately, lawyers are not slaves. We can change this. I, I would support changing this to make them slaves. <laughs> Uh, that's what's so frustrating with the Utah court was the court wrongly assumed plaintiff wasn't participating when in reality his personal life is crumbling. So they wrongly assumed he wasn't participating because he's not participating. Um, but at least he has an excuse. His personal life is crumbling. So therefore his non-participation is actually not non-participation. It's, it's non-participation um, because it, with an excuse. It's completely different. The other week, plaintiff received notice that Kiwi Farms, so now Kiwi Farms is an improper noun, so a Kiwi Farms, this could be a Kiwi Farms user from the Kiwi Farms on kiwifarms.st, or this could be a Kiwi Farms user from a, uh, a winery in New Zealand that makes Kiwi wine. That's in the, it's unclear. The other week, plaintiff received notice that Kiwi Farms user was using Greer's likeness and had created a YouTube channel in Greer's name and is uploading Greer's songs. When Greer reported the account to YouTube, the individual created an email pretending to be Greer and contacted him. So this is a complaint and this motion that I won't kill myself, where he's saying that 
um, some guy who may be a Kiwi Farms user, but some fucking guy who's not fucking me created a channel on YouTube, which is not my fucking website, and uploaded stuff that he thinks is offensive or violates his copyright. So some guy somewhere did something to upset Russell Greer, and it is therefore implicitly my fault. Thanks. This is unfair, he says. <laughs> wow, imagine if people blamed you for shit you didn't fucking do on sites you don't fucking run. That would be really unfair and unjust. There is no way this is fair use. This has ruined plaintiff's life. In all caps. Greer is exhausted because Kiwi Farms, uh, one of them at least, and Joshua Moon want plaintiff dead. This is clearly the case because if they didn't, they would respect him and stop the madness. So uh, motion in, in the motion that I won't kill myself, he says, by the way, I'm totally going to fucking kill myself unless you do what I say. Uh, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. This, that would be extortion if it was written explicitly. A plaintiff would ask somehow that the court understands this and allows for electronic filing notices. For the time being, the court can list plaintiff's address as, and then there is a commercial mailing address. So that is the latest of the Russell Greer filing. He is, um, even now, South Twain Avenue. So in his file, where he's, <laughs> in his motion that I won't kill myself, where he's saying that he doesn't have access to his mailing box, he lists the South Twain Avenue address as the where to contact him. Bro, come the fuck on. Just like, un unreal. There's no way that he's not doing this on purpose. Like, there's no way that anybody is that incompetent. That they're just, that they, they're filing from an address for, for mailing purposes that they admit, and the fucking filing doesn't exist anymore and is not available to them. Just uh, baffling. He also can't pay his bills, which is now, um, he's being evicted for it. I think he's been formally evicted for it. I don't know. Is this the, the, um,. Uh, what is this? What, what, what's the word he used? To the delight. Is this the delight here? I think this might be... This guy might be delighted. I'm going to dislike this. I'm going to show my disapproval for his wanton disregard for plaintiff's feelings. Unbelievable. I expect better of my community, to be real with you. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!